Hey guys, it's Erico from Recreated.com bringing you another Module 8 tutorial. And today what we're going to be covering is how to use layers and how to do a couple controls. We're going to go over how to do speed control, whether you want to go have a video play forward, backward, uh, how to set loop, how to set in and out points, as well as fading transitions. We're going to go over how to scale the video, how to uh, change the uh, X and Y uh, direction, basically rotate images as well as being able to alter the color changes. Let's get started. I want to make this as short as possible. We're, I've got module 8 open here and uh, basically what we're looking at is the default settings. The This is exactly what it'll look like when you open it up. Um, the only thing that it won't look like is these um, files right here. This is basically your media. Uh, it depends on what, what you have, whatever it is, uh, but this is the uh, sample media that Module 8 comes with and uh, the files that I will be using right now for this demonstration. So first of all, let's go ahead and see this layer. So over here on the left, we'll, we can notice that there's pun a bunch of different layers. Um, there's slots for layers to go in and you'll notice right now there's only one. So we could go ahead and add more if we wanted to by clicking this plus symbol right here. So I could click that and add a couple more. Let's say I want to delete it. You go ahead and delete by hitting the minus. Or if, uh, let's say I want to duplicate, I could actually hit this other button with a two plus signs in it. What that does is basically if you have one, one layer with your you know preferred settings, your preferred you know scale, speed, color, you know effects on it, all that, all that jazz, you can actually just duplicate that layer without having to make another layer and uh, you know having all to having to do all those changes on that second layer as well. So easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But we could go ahead and make your job even easier with keyboard shortcuts. So let's go ahead and let's say I want to delete these uh, new layers and just keep one. I could go ahead and hit Option Command L for layer. So Option Command L for layer deletes it. And guess what? To add a new layer, you just hit Command L and it'll add a new layer. And we could go ahead and uh, hit Command D to duplicate. So we're we're just gonna. I just need uh, two layers right now. So that's fine. We just got the one layer in the bottom layer. So let's go ahead. On this top layer, I'll add my first media, which is uh, the number count. On the second one, it's uh, my dancing guy. Uh, let's go ahead and turn off the dancing guy right now by hitting this uh, button on the side and that's basically your on and off so it's still there it just turned off right now and as well you can control your transparency by this blue bar and you could go ahead and lower the opacity so if I have this uh, dancing guy in the back with 100% opacity turned on you notice it's a lot brighter even though technically it's behind uh, the top layer it's just the only thing is the top layer transparency is uh, a lot lower to so right now it's set at 25 we could do 50 75 and then finally a hundred percent and you'll notice like I said we could go and just turn it off on and off right here so like I said let's turn off the bottom layer with the dance and uh, keep this top layer with the counter all right great guys so now we've covered the very basics of uh, putting the media into the certain layers as well as um, changing the transparency levels in each layer as well as turning them on and off and uh, adding, deleting, and duplicating as well as the shortcuts. And as always, you guys, if something is highlighted in orange, that means that's the one you're going to be making the changes to. So right now it's this bottom layer is selected and you see it's orange compared to the first one. So if I actually choose a different media here, you'll notice that changes it. So you wanna be careful if something's highlighted. So that's, uh, so I'm changing it back to the dance guy. And um, let's say you want to change the order. Very simple uh, click and drag system that they've got here. I wanna change the dancing guy to go on top of the counter. Just click and drag and it's as simple as that. Let's just put that back there. So let's go ahead and jump into the layer movie clip controls and what that actually does. And we'll take a look right here. You'll notice that these are uh, the layer, uh, the movie clip controls. 
whether you want to play, opt, as well as uh, fading. And as always, you guys, like I mentioned, the orange must be selected into to the layer that you want to do the effect. So right now, I want to select the counter, which is this video that we're looking at, which is live. And uh, we want to hit play. And this blue uh, bar is basically the speed. So the speed controls if you want it, want it to go fast, want it to go slow, whatever you do. And uh, if I click all the way here, you'll notice it starts accelerating very rapidly. Um, you can always click and drag to go back to make it very slow, to make it a bit quicker. And as always, hit reset to go back to the default. So hit reset and it's back to the, the original speed. Um, these three buttons right here, this is um, your, basically your control clip playback. You could either uh, have it set to loop, have it set to back and forth, and uh, play once. So if I hit the play once, let's just let that go. It'll go to eight, and notice it just stopped because that's the end of the clip. If I hit back and forth, it'll go to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then start going backwards. Check this out. Seven, six, five. So that's what that video, that um, option does. The back and forth takes you to the, from the beginning of the video to the end of the video, and then from the end back to the beginning. So it's not like a looping system. Though if you're looking for a loop, uh, you gotta click on this one. And what this does, basically once it reaches an eight, it'll jump back to one and start all over again. Down here is your direction of the clip playback. So if you wanna have the video playing the correct way, this is what it should look like. But if let's say you want the video to play backwards, you would click on it and it actually starts playing backwards. If you take a look, it's actually going three, two, one, and it's playing backwards in that sense. Let's go ahead and change that back to the regular play direction, playing forward. All right, great. So what we're gonna go over right now is how to use the scratch knobs. So the scratch knobs are basically the two knobs on the sides of the direction button, which is what we're playing with right now. Uh, these knobs are called scratch. What it does is just allows you to skim through the video um, as well as it allows you to set a start point uh, for what clip. So let's say I wanna start in the middle. Um, you could actually set that up to this uh, knob itself. So how do you use it? Let's go ahead and use this. So first of all, I wanna clarify that both of these knobs do the exact same thing. They just put two of them there. So you don't have, you don't only have one option. So let's say I wanna set a point for this video to start at four. I don't have to only have that option. I could set, have this knob set at five. Let's go ahead and use that. So if I click and move this, to let's say four. So right now this knob is set to that point in the clip. So anytime I wanna go back to a jump to it really quick, I'm just like, you know, doing my VJing stuff and all of a sudden I'm like, all right, crap, let's go. Click on it, it starts at four. You see that? Every time I click, it starts at that position. Go ahead and I could do the same exact thing to this one and set it to six. So I go from here to four and then if I decide, you know, I wanna to go to six, click on that. So that's what the scratch knob does when you wanna set it to an exact point in the video. So let's go ahead and take a look at the in and out points and how we can use that. So how to set the in and out point. While the scratch knobs are useful for jumping to a point in a clip, you may, you know, if you wanna use at a specific time, uh, but what this does it sets it more as a default. So when you, whenever you click on this clip, wh whatever clip you're using on this layer, it's gonna start at this point. Um, so basically what you wanna do is uh, click on the opt tab up here and right next to where it says play. So let's go ahead and set that in and out point. So right now I could go ahead and have this video start at three and so basically whenever we you know, select this layer, uh, it'll start at three seconds instead of starting from one and two. Um, and we could also set an out point. So let's say I wanna set this out point to somewhere around there. So to go five, 
six, seven, and then back to three. So that's what it's gonna do. So if we go ahead and test this out, we'll turn off the layer, turn it back on, and you'll see that it jumps from three, four, five, six, and then goes back. So that's the way it basically is uh, controlled. And you set up the in and out points by moving this bar, uh, the, I the in, as well as the out. Let's go ahead and jump into the fading section, the last tab all the way to the right, the fading. So what this does, it basically adds a uh, transition to the layer. Uh, when you switch the media from of a layer, of the media changes immediately. So it basically just cuts. Uh, it's but it's possible to you know have a crossfade so it goes in pretty smoothly and not just cuts uh, all of a sudden. So the way you use it, you want to click on fade over here on the top right tab, uh, right next to the opt. And uh, here we want to turn on fading. So we'll click on the fading button. You'll see it turns orange. If you notice, if you haven't noticed the trend, anything that's orange, you'll notice that it's almost certainly that that's the, what's selected or what's on. Um, so when fading is on, this is key to pay attention to down here because now this is in effect uh, the transition time. So now the fade will come in whether it's in 10 seconds or 30 seconds or one second. And uh, you can set that time right here. So let's say 10 seconds and I will turn this off and you'll notice that the video is slowly fading away within 10 seconds. Now let's go ahead and turn it off and now let's click it and you'll notice there is no more fading but it's now it's just directly going starting up. See, so it just cut into a uh, place. It just it just came in. So as well, like I said, you can always go ahead and turn on fading here and just turn off the button and you'll notice there's that one second fade. And of course you could do it manually where this controls the transparency, but remember, this is not fade bl to black. This is just a lower transparency. So whatever's on the bottom, it'll still show. So we'll go ahead and bring that back up. And now let's jump into the transform section right here in the middle, which basically allows you to change the scale and uh, the rotation of whatever your, uh, you know, whatever media you've got. So now jumping into the transform section, um, it's pretty, pretty straightforward this information. Uh, to scale, we'll take a look and actually see um, we could scale around and move this, uh, basically make it bigger or smaller, uh, depending on what you want to do. You know, if the media isn't too, if the video is not big enough to fill the screen, you could go ahead and manually uh, change the scale here as well. You know, of course, hit the reset if you want to go back. Uh, what this stuff does, these three bars, is basically changing the scale, but by X and Y and Z dimensions. So what this means is X is the top, Y is the middle, and Z is the bottom. Uh, the X is basically left and right. If you want to stretch it out from left and right, you could go ahead and use that. So you'll notice it stretches out. Or you could go ahead and do the Y uh, scaling where you could basically stretch it out from the top and the bottom, which, and let's try that out real quick. You'll notice that it stretches out from the top and bottom, and just really stretches out. The Z it's a little different because um, uh, because these controls only are really for two dimension. Uh, the Z slider only functions with a visible uh, with a visible result uh, when you're using Transformer, which is another option down here where we'll we'll cover that in a later video. Um, so now let's look at these knobs. What do these knobs really do? Now it actually adds a bit more of a, some 3D kind of feel to it. So let's take a look. Z actually. Um, let's go ahead and change this uh, so it's a bit more visible. We'll turn that off, turn on our dancer. What the Z does, it basically uh, gives it a different rotation. Now I'm actually able to rotate upside down, forward, all this, um, all this, this different type of rotation. And when we look at the Y, it actually turns it. You see that? It rotates it on the Y axis. The X as well rotates it on the X axis, so it goes from top to bottom and just rotates like that. Um, and if we have this at an angle, let's say we have it at like this angle right now. Um, what this button in the 
center is, it basically changes the, the view of how you want to see it. It's called the field of view um, toggle. And if we click it here, you notice something. It actually changes um, the corners of the graphic. See how it actually makes it a little bigger or smaller. Basically what this button does, it, uh, it sets the medium the angle, the view of the layer. So it gives it a different type of perspective, even if it's turned a bit. So, I mean, you could play around with it, see how useful it is uh, for your purposes. So we'll go ahead and reset this. So now let's go ahead and jump to the, the colors. Colors, and uh, for this section, we'll see, we could take a look at this um, this minus and plus, basically what they do is the minus takes away color and the plus adds color. So if we want to go ahead and take some red out of whatever image or video you've got, you go ahead and go just a bit like this and you'll notice the red starts to disappear. And this goes, a, goes hand in hand with all the rest of the colors. You'll notice it takes away from it. So even if you don't necessarily have red, blue, and green in your video or uh, your graphic, uh, it'll take the the hues or the colors that are basically similar to uh, the colors uh, red, green, and blue and desaturate them. And as well, um, it'll boost. So we're looking at the red. It's going to boost the red. So it starts making a, like almost a pink magenta color. Uh, boost the green, adding the gr more green to this whole thing, which adding more green to everything right now is going to make it a yellow tint. And now if we add blue to everything, it's just basically the spectrum of all the colors. It's going to make it a white. So that's something, um, you know, we go in a whole different discussion about color theory and how to play around with it and mixing it up. But that's something you definitely should know that the top is subtracting colors. The bottom is adding colors. This whole section is basically just the ability to change uh different parts of your colors uh but like i said this is the same thing same idea it's minus and plus this is an rgb mode so you could actually manually you know fade it in and fade it out what this does is just takes certain colors and as well as here just a color picker so you could actually just kind of pick what colors same thing same idea plus and minus here and as well of course you know if you mess something up you go ahead and hit the reset here on the bottom um, so those were the color parts of the section. Um, overall, you guys, so we've covered how to put the, the media into the layers, how to control the transparency of the layers, how to turn them on and off, how to duplicate them, how to uh, do a couple things, shortcuts, uh, the fading, the in and out points, the play uh, back and forth, the speed, the scaling, the rotation, and the color. So um, this is just the beginning, the first video of layers. We're gonna go over uh, all this stuff down here, the visual effects and how to really add effects to your um, video as well. Just like, for example, we'll take a look right here. Saturation, lightness, contrast, the Luma key. We're gonna go all over all of this in our next video uh, when we talk about module eight uh, layers video effects. Thanks again, you guys, for supporting me with all these tutorials and I really appreciate all the comments and feedback I am uh, receiving uh, about these tutorials and I hope you know they are very helpful to you um, and let me know you know any feedback any information you anything you might have a question about because I will continue to uh, make these tutorials for not only your benefit for my benefit as well because I get more practice and I actually uh, go into uh, in depth of uh, you know how to use module A, try to figure different things out. So let me know if you guys have any questions, any troubleshooting, anything like that, and I will definitely make sure to answer it. Um, I just downloaded the module A 2.72, so make sure to download and update your system because uh, I had no idea there's an update. So you definitely want to do that. And anyways, so go ahead and follow me on uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, recreated as well as my YouTube channel recreated uh, like the video um, comment make sure to do all that fun stuff you can also follow me on 
uh, Instagram at recreated. That's R E C R E A T D. Uh, and uh, that's the same thing with Twitter. And make sure to visit my website, recreated.com. You guys, uh, I really, you know, I'm really glad you guys are enjoying these videos. I'm uh, currently a college student, a full time college student, so it's kind of difficult uh, with time and money and all that stuff right now, but. I appreciate all the support. Make sure to visit my website. Uh, I also create videos. Um, I'm looking to work on a few different projects in the near future uh, and in the distant future. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I do graphic design work, uh, film, and web design. So make sure to check all that stuff out. All right, you guys. Thank you. Take care. And until next time, stay creative.